Hey guys and welcome back to another dream game video. Today we have a little bit of stuff I want to do. I need to refresh the build we did last time because street lights don't exactly make sense where they are. We're going to do a lot of minimap stuff today, adding in quick teleports, waypoints, just overall stuff to make the game feel a bit more polished and just a little bit more. The dream game, oh, it's just looking nicer and nicer every single day. The first thing I'm gonna do, since Robo's kind of helping a lot with the UI, I am gonna make something or draw something for him to make. Grab my little uh, snip tool. Now on the minimap screen, we're gonna have a box like this, and we'll say something here. Uh, this will be a picture of the location, and then this will be the description of the location. And then right down here will be a fast teleport button or fast transportation, something like that. But this is what I need him to make. So I'll send that over to him. And while he is working on that, I need to go to the storage unit build, man. As you can see, these street lights, they do work. They get the point across. But the comments let me know in the last video, they were like, bro, make the lights on the side of the buildings which makes so much more sense. And I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. So let's just delete these. They gotta go. They got to go. Uh, well, that was the wrong. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know exactly how I wanted to build said lights. And it seems like storage units uh, do indeed use light poles. Uh, none of these have anything on the side. This one, okay, this one's got some box lights. So it looks like just a little box, half the box is a light. I think we could definitely do something like that. In fact, I believe the test place garage does have something like that. It does. And it's only two parts. Keeping stuff super optimized. Oh, it's been, it's been a bit hectic, but this will definitely work. All right. So let's bring this out, bring it up. And I think I could just kind of put it, I think we'll go like this. Let's move it back and rotate it, I'd say about 45-ish degrees. Little less, little more, who knows. And we're definitely gonna have to edit some of this stuff. I don't think we need the beam, it's a bit overkill. And the spotlight, we definitely are gonna need some more. So range for sure. Actually, maybe just range works. Now we'll just duplicate this. Uh, my movement is scuffed. Edit, pivot, reset. There we go. And we're just gonna put one of these on each of these spots. That's gonna help so much at nighttime. Another really good thing about this is we are gonna make it so at nighttime they turn on and during the daytime they turn off. Just one more thing that helps the game feel a bit more alive. All right, these pivots are so, so messed up. We need to fix that. Perfect. Now all we have to do is copy and paste this to the other ones. All right, guys, we have all of the lights placed. However, this perfect circle on the ground, uh, just not properly diffused light. So I think taking the brightness down will help quite a bit. And let's see, angle up, yes, range. You know, I don't mind them actually connecting together. I think that makes it look better. And then just tone down the light. Yeah, I think that is looking pretty all right. Now we're gonna hop into the minimap, please, and see what Robo cooked up with our little drawing. Here we are, guys, the minimap. If we go ahead and uh, just hover over a location like this, it says locked, visit, visited the, okay, Robo, his, his English translation isn't always the best, we'll fix that up. Anyways, you, you go to a location and it says, visit the location to unlock fast travel, basically, You'll start down here, you'll spawn in, and then you'll have to drive to these locations. And after you drive to them, you will be able to teleport to them. Now, next thing, this little menu, it looks okay, but we can make it look a lot better. And we're probably gonna still need to make everything work, like the scripting part of fast traveling. So let's get some pictures of these locations, take them into Photoshop, make them look all good and just perfect. But first, Let's go hit the lot. From the dream game video, I do want to start putting some in real life clips in these videos just so we can see like, yo, what developers really making a game 
based off what they really be doing out here. You know what I'm saying? So let's get this circle and not crash and dispenser. All right. Back to the old double pegs. All right. Turn this way a little bit. Maybe a little, uh, a little knee knocker action. Jeez, why do we need that hand? We don't. Might not need the hand. We might not need the legs. I don't know. <laughs> oh, y'all want the combos? How about a little no footer to a stand up? Okay. What about a? Uh, let's jump to a one footed seat stander. Jeez. Back down. Okay. Let's flip this girl around because we don't want to die. We got it all day long. Hop back onto the double peg. Who needs a break? Not I. Okay, now I do. Hi, Spencer. How you doing? Oh, I ain't jumping like that. God, I die. <laughs> I am not. handlebar now I coined it coined it I'm making stickers that says your hand here your your hand here that works guys let's get back into the video all right bros welcome back to the setup to the studio out of the lot uh, I have a lot more fun in the lot I will say but soon we'll be hitting the lots in the dream game guys what we're gonna do right now is make some images of each location we're gonna focus on the city today Spawn, the dealership, and misguided. So all I'm gonna do, and we will probably have to update these later when the map is 100% done, but for now, all I'm gonna do is grab a decent sized screenshot. I also need to hide the UI. Then we're gonna hop into Photoshop, paste it in, and just get it nicely scaled so it fits up a lot of this canvas. And then we need to edit it so it looks like a cooler photo. It's sort of the cover of where you're about to go. I think a gradient overlay that is black to black and white. And then blend mode, we are gonna make something else. I want it to fade up. I think you guys will catch my drift. Not quite that. Let's do black to transparent and then find the best one. This has such a nice contrasty feel to it, but I think it's a bit too harsh. You know what? We're going with it and we're gonna set this to 50%. Something like that. I don't think that looks too bad. All right, guys, this is what we've got so far. The spawn image right up top. I do like the darkness going to the bright. It kind of makes it fit a little bit better with this background here. Robo is a huge fan of the Ferdoko one font, okay? I am too but I feel like it doesn't work as well in these realistic games. So we're gonna look around and see if anything is calling our name. Classic Aerial Bold. I mean, it's not bad, but it's also not great. That looks like a comic book. I'm not mad at this one. I do think we're gonna need to remove a bit of this space in between. Uh, I don't even know how he made space in between. I'll have to see because I think this should be up a little bit more. So there's not this big, but it also looks fine. Now, the other thing that we wanted to do was make this fast travel locked until you actually visit the place. However, displaying it as locked, I was thinking just a lock icon, but you also can't teleport if you are sitting on your bike, which to display that we would use a lock icon. And I just feel like, like, we have to have more than one way to show it's locked. And I don't know the best way to do that yet without covering everything up. So we are going to have to figure that one out. And we probably won't do the other locations until we figure that out. But since the spawn will automatically be unlocked because that's where you spawn, it's not a big deal for us. Let's go ahead, get all these changes published into the minimap and all the scripts and stuff. And then let's get imported over to the actual game. I also want to try to change this, this Apple icon. Okay, get out of here, bro. I don't even know what it's going to be yet. We'll probably have to get all these icons made later, but even like a blank circle would look better than this for our game right now. We are going to make that image real quick. 
I do think anything will look better than uh than the apple just because the apple doesn't match the game at all. So let's center this, duplicate it, bring it down on that side, down on that side. I wish I was better in Photoshop and knew how to do this exactly, but you know. We're gonna go fully blacked out with this one. And then the inner one, we are gonna make just a little bit lighter. Something like that. Then we'll add this bevel to it because I think it looks cool. Except I do want it on the bottom. Honestly, not that bad. Let me get that uploaded, everything into the main game, and then I'll show you guys what's going on. All right, guys, it is time. We're gonna test some features and show you guys what we did here in the main game. Misguided, oh, the building looks so good. Absolutely a beautiful loading screen that looks a little squished, uh, but you know, hey. We also need to make it so the minimap does not pop up uh, over the loading screen, because that's, well, that's a bit ugly as well. All right, here we are, guys. So check this out. Let's go to the spawn, open up our minimap, and look at this. If we click on it, it says spawn has an image and a short description, which we may make better later. Now, fast travel. Um, I don't think it actually... Wait, did it teleport us? I don't know. Hold on. And I want to check one more thing as well. If we click on this, it says locked. Now, if we get really close to it, Robo said this might or might not work. Uh, we're about to figure out. If we get close and open up our map again, uh, it thinks we're clicking on the spawn again or something. Let's try it with misguided since it's a little bit further away. Also, just a quick little sneak peek for those who have stayed tuned. Uh, yeah, that's that's I'm not going to say much about it right now, but but just be ready. <laughs> That video is going to be an absolute banger. How about a seat stander? Sheesh. Oh, this is the old one still. A little, little busted. Um, uh, that's, that's game development for you. Okay, let's just, oh my gosh. We are now in misguided. Let's see if the unlock works. It does not. So we'll have to fix that. And fast travel, uh, it also doesn't work. So we're going to have to do a bit of bug fixing, but at least the main idea is in. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something is not right, guys. This is a problem, okay? I do this a lot. If there is an issue, I'm like, eh, we'll fix it in the next video. Guys, that is not acceptable on the dream game. If I can't work hard for my literal dream, nobody else is going to. So guys, I just got everything fixed. Check it out. If we open up the mini map, we can click on the spawn and hit fast travel. And as you can see, our guy moves to the spawn and we are here. I will have to move the teleport point so you don't spawn on the fountain. And I want to make the map auto close when you teleport. So it kind of just makes sense. The next thing I needed to fix was things being locked even when you get there and that weird hovering bug where I'd be at misguided, but it says I'm at the spawn. So check it out. If we click on the dealership, it says locked. However, if I go over to the dealership, this is also in a 50 stud radius. So right here should be fine. Now there is nothing locked anymore. There's no description just yet. She doesn't know this yet, but I'm going to ask Kirsten to write them all. She's such a talented writer, bro. Just Anyways, now that stuff works. We can fast travel. We no longer have the weird bugged images. Everything is good to go. I think in the next video, I do want to put like an on-screen pop-up saying you unlocked a location when you get close to it. And I also want to add in uh, 3D waypoints or blips. So many names. So check it out. These guys right here, you can hover over them and see what it is when you get close and they go away when you are too far. One of these will be on each building. I am gonna need to get the vectors made for all of those. And if you look around, they stay on the edge of your screen, which is super, super cool. So the next minimap video will have all of those, all of the vectors. Oh, it's gonna really start coming together. Anyways, now we can get into some questions. Question number one, are you gonna try to make it into the star program? Fun fact, I am in the star program, sort of, like kinda, it like halfway. I was in the star program on my old YouTube channel under my old uh, persona, I guess we could call it. 
and then I stopped uploading on that channel and they were like, hey, you're banned, get out. You're not in the program no more. And I was like, hey, could we just switch it over? This channel's just as good as the last one, you know? And they were like, no, uh, but they didn't take everything away yet. So like the old star code still works. I still have the star next to my name in the games. It's, it's kind of, it's yeah. Question number two, will there be a phone in the dream game like for messaging, calling, etc.? We had one at the beginning. We did. It was going to be the basis of all the UI. And then we were like, you know what? Every other game also has a phone. So we were trying to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more original. So at this point in time, no, no phone. Will there be one later? Maybe, maybe not. I guess only time will tell. Guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy and want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.